I've not done a live video for a while, have I? Been busy, got an animation on. Now it's after work, you know, I don't do these videos in work anymore, but after work it's quite reasonable and okay. So I've been saving these for you, the subject of this. I'm changing a shitload of these, oh, for a year or two now, really. On, on vehicles with like 20, 30,000 driven. What is it? Well, I'll tell you what it is. It's a diesel particulate sensor, and it's basically just a device to to sort of go into the into the um, orifice of the exhaust. And what goes wrong is, well, first of all, you have a QR code on here on this body. It's probably the old. It is the old one. They don't have the QR code anymore. The old BMW way was that when you fit them, make sure the QR code faces uh, in a certain position, which is a lot of bullshit. Basically, they're just shite sensors. I'm going to show you now very quickly with the aid of a little piece of paper and a pen all what you need to do to check them that's the sensor side which doesn't come off although it looks like it don't come off you can see and this is the harness side on the vehicle and i'm going to just draw you a little wiring diagram because obviously as we know we can't use bmw stuff without getting like shafted off bmw and the other sensor so i kind of cover two in one one uh, kind of two in one throw of the dice kind of thing this is just a, a bog standard four wire oxygen sensor lambda sensor these also go faulty again always on g30 bmws for some reason and uh, yeah they're just a bag of shit these lambda sensors they're going like x x5s f15s everything the 10 a penny they're just crap sensors they just got no longevity at all so without further ado let's have a look at the wiring diagram because what i'm t teaching you is with the ben johnson diagnostic fault finding channel is when you get a fault with something like this, well, I've got a video about these oxygen sensors. We don't need to look at that. You can go and look at the long videos for that. I'm teaching that when you do get this fault code, you do need to check though, when it says that it's knackered and there's not like the sensor doesn't work or there's a short or whatever, you still need to check the wire into the sensor because one of these days I'll get one where the wire will probably be broken, won't it? So, amazing diagram, but don't worry about that. All that matters is that you understand how it works. There's the probe our little probe what we were talking about what screws in the exhaust there's the cable the harness connector so you've got the dps ev diesel particulate sensor evaluation electronics engine ecu dda four wires easy local can high local can low 12 volt and a ground so all you need to do is you get your power probe you check have i got a ground with it plugged in have i got sorry have i got a ground plugged in have i got 12 volts yes i have how about the can well you can scope it but there's not usually a need and on low can You'll also have branches going to things like knock sensors as well. Same system. And this is just literally a CAN bus, but only for the components in the exhaust system. You might have NOX1. And then you might have going off here. NOX2. And it's just a local bus just for these components that's it nothing else it doesn't go into the main pt can or can fd or anything like that that's the system dead easy do you need to scope it nah, not really to be honest you can do if you had a break here or here you'd have a fault with no comms with the knocks and you'd have a fault call for that and generally speaking if you had a break anywhere anywhere on this line you'd have fault calls for low can no comms same if you had resistance here before any of this you're not going to communicate with this with this or with this if you had resistance here or here you might not get comms with these but you'll probably get comms with them because they're only branch lines not main lines dead easy if there's no power at this evaluation electronics unit then it's not going to work is it the actual sensor probe of this is fitted downstream of the scr catalytic converter and what its job is is quite clever it just monitors the condition of the diesel particulate filter now it does that using a very special clever resistance based method which might surprise you how, how this actually works it's not kind of a pressure sensor or anything like that it looks like one but it's not inside this sensor is a measuring probe with electrodes now when soot builds up between them electrodes it creates tiny electrical uh, paths and current starts to flow you see now the more soot in here the more current you see now that signal is then picked up by the sensor's internal electronics, which are in this little box here. And then that determines just how well the diesel particulate filter is still able to store particulates inside it, because that's the goal, isn't it, to store particulates. Now the data from that 
is then sent to the engine ECU, the DDE, over a local CAN bus. I'll show you that on the wire diagram shortly. The important bit is, to keep things accurate, the sensor itself has a self-cleaning function. Yeah, it does actually. It heats itself up at intervals when, whenever it uh, deems necessary to burn off the soot that's been collected between these electrodes in here because essentially that will then reset the measurement back to, back to sort of clean measurement if you like and that's actually extremely important that. Now also worth noting is the sensor's location can vary actually depending on the exhaust layout so you need to consult your wiring diagrams and consult your manuals before you start pulling these off. For example this sits right next to um, I think a NOx sensor which looks very similar but that's how the system works anyway. So there you are, the next time you get one of these it's more than likely going to be basically just a dodgy sensor. But now you know what to do, how to test it, you know it's only four wires. You know like, if the local can is iffy, what you need to do. Do you need to measure it? Probably not if you've got no photos. And it's literally just crap sensors. We're now going to put these where they belong. Probably there's gold in there, precious metals, but who knows, in the bin. Until next time. 700,000 views last month by the way. I'm going for a million views this month, probably all short space. But if you can watch this video and give it a thumbs up if it helped you to understand exactly what a diesel particulate sensor is and how it works.